In this video, I'm going to be reviewing my LEGO Eclipse, as well as my LEGO Apollos and LEGO Artemis, and a quick revitalization of the LEGO Moving Stadium. So, let's just dive right into set 5. While I could have went for the standard gimmick of Eclipse, having two halves that you would connect together to make a mix and match, uh, which is kind of perfect for LEGO, I still decided to add weight in it. Uh, to spice things up a bit and also to add some more functionality and design to the bay. As you can see, we still have two halves of the bay. So for the Apollo side, we have a yellow brick with stud on side leading to some of these bumpy things that can uh, increase the fence for the contact points. We have a couple headlights that have some quarter tiles. Um, but yeah, then moving on to the Artemis side, we have these two blades out of the four that are usually in a hole. So we have this blade here, and this blade here. And then we put in the weight dime, which consists of 12 dimes. Finally, we put on the top with its nice black center and the corresponding yellow and purple halves on the layer. And boom, we have Lego Eclipse. The frame is change under F, which is basically a makeshift version of the turn frame. So, using a modified version of change, we are able to free spin this under frame around here. So when you put it under here, notice you can free spin it pretty easily. Since the under frame was kind of low before and it flips upside down when you put it in Lego, uh, its low nature actually helps because now this bottom part is smoother. Finally, the driver is Zephyr F, basically a free spin version of Zephyr, which I guess is pretty much stud, uh, except it's hollow. Um, but yeah, there is the full combo of Lego Eclipse, Dime, Change Under F, Zephyr F. Wow, that is a pretty long name. Utilizing the same design pattern on both sides, we can also make a full Lego Apollos and Artemis by themselves. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is this layer orange? I mean, isn't it yellow? Well, it's because, like, I don't have more of the yellow of these pieces. Like, I mean, why would I only buy one? That seems kind of weird. Okay, but whatever. But to me, it, it seems like Duo Apollos kind of has a hint of orange in it. Uh, but, you know, of course, I'm kind of colorblind, so don't take that too seriously. Uh, but so this was the next closest color I could get. Again, we have the same multiple point contact shape uh, with all these bumps and stuff and also the dime weight from before. And yeah, the top part's pretty much the same, uh, except for this yellow center here instead of the black. Uh, so tell me how you feel about this orange uh, recolor instead of yellow. So we have Change Meteor here, which is not free spinning this time. And boom. Finally, the driver is Ball, without a free spinning ring that was released on like a Wyvern. So yeah, it just should be a solid defensive driver for Apollos. And lastly, we have Lego Artemis. So we see here it retains the four-bladed shape. Uh, sharper should be an attack type, but you'll notice it has the mix weight instead of the dime weight. Both can fit in the same space filled by these here, and since it has two extra coins, uh, the dime weight is actually heavier, which in general seems like it should perform better. The only thing you might have to worry about is the dime weight leaving a lot of extra space in the middle, uh, but it, that's kind of a bit of a stretch. And then moving to the top of the layer design, same thing as before, we got the half from LEGO Eclipse, doubled it, and then changed the center here to purple. And yeah, because this is kind of blue, I feel like Eclipse is blue, and Apollos is kind of orange. I mean, is it just me or am I that colorblind? But whatever, we'll put it on. Following the official combo released on Duo Artemis, on LEGO Artemis, we have uh, Change Star. And then, as the driver, we also have the Unite driver. Came on LEGO Spriggan. There's a small protrusion out there surrounded by a rubber band that can create some acceleration. In comparing the two LEGO layers, uh, without weight, of course, uh, we're gonna see that um, it is LEGO Artemis that is actually the heavier of the two, meaning that Eclipse will be in between. In total, 
the Lego Eclipse combo weighs 49.63 grams. The Lego Apollo combo weighs 49.37 grams. And the Lego Artemis combo weighs 46.83 grams. All right, at the beginning of the video, I did promise a return of the Lego Mugen Stadium with Lego Eclipse, but there is a bit of a catch from the previous magnetized one. You can find the Lego Mugen video up there in the top right of the screen, but basically what I found was that this more realistic magnetic one um, compared to the real Mugen Stadium just wasn't long-term viable because of the friction caused by knocking it out, and so over time it would kind of wear down and you know just make it less effective so this current version right here is just going to be a regular lego connection meaning that it's not really going to get knocked out and still survive but the main point is to measure attack based on how often it'll burst the motor this time is less spin which will give um more right spin base uh since those are the main type uh like more chances to knock it out to really see how much attack they have I know it's probably not as good or accurate to you guys uh, as the previous one was, uh, but it should still be pretty exciting to do. Now let's test it out with some of our bays. First we got Lego Apollos. Three, two, one, let it go. Lego Artemis. Three, two, one, light. Yeah. Ooh, look at that spin steel. And this way you can tell about um, how good the attacks are, you know, over a long time. You can get a lot of different uh, samples. I know you guys probably want like two of these, uh, but one of them is pretty hard as is to beat. I mean, like this connection here is really strong. I mean, it has to be strong to be able to spin balanced. Um, and also I don't have a second motor to do a second one. Uh, so yeah, I guess that is my Mugen Stadium. All right, now we're gonna do some test battles with their combos with Apollos being left spin and Eclipse and Artemis being right spin. Apollos versus Artemis, three, two, one, let it. Three, two, one, light. Oh my goodness, why am I scraping so much? Eclipse versus Artemis. Three, two, one, light. Oh, that was such a good Unite Driver speed up. Three, two, one, light. Not again in the same pocket. Final matchup, Eclipse versus Apollos. Three, two, one, light. Dude, Apollos is really the king of scraping. Three, two, one, light. So that was Lego Eclipse, Apollos, and Artemis. Uh, tell me what you think about the video. I mean, are these pretty sick releases or what? Got those frames, got those drivers and the layers, of course. Uh, so yeah, and the new, um, the revamp of the Moving Stadium as well. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Lego Bays out.